What's up, everybody? You're watching the sound check. I'm Blake, and this is TK, and we're back with some more reactions. What have we got today, TK? Bro, we've got the boys brimming the horizon with a new track, Kool Aid, and this is a lyric video. They've been liking the lyric videos, lately. loving them, and smashing them out. And they've done some cool ones. So hopefully, yeah. this one is up to scratch. I haven't heard this track, no. so I have though. Yeah. You haven't seen the lyric video? No, I actually haven't cool. seen the video, no. All right, see. Um, but I've been meaning to want to listen to this song a few more times. Okay, first impressions were... It was all right. Yeah. Um, the Actually, I don't want to spoil anything. Okay. Um, right. But yeah, I mean, I, it was kind of like I left being like, ah, oh, maybe I'll fall in love with it eventually. Okay. I'll give it some more time. Well, let's check it out, bro. Wow, hectic visuals. Already sounds a bit different to his normal kind of pitch screams. It's yep. like a bit more gnarly and harsh. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Even the music sounds like quite harsh as well. So maybe this they're going is the for the first like a... one without Jordan. Yeah. So it's like I think predominantly it's a lot of it's just a lot of like you know raw instruments. Yeah, I think they might have did this one. Yeah, they did this one with a producer named Dan Lancaster. Okay. Who's worked with um like uh the main band that I know he's worked with is Don Broco. You know Don oh, Broco? Okay. Yeah. So he's pretty hands on with their stuff. So and they kind of have a bit more of like a raw sound mm. on, on some of their newer stuff. Sure. So maybe it's that kind of vibe. But yeah, it sounds cool. That's a bit more standard bring me. Crazy. The breakdown time. Yeah, that's mad. Ooh, shred. Okay. Okay. 
This was going in tears. Some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, cool. Definitely not as creative a lyric video as some of their other ones, yep. but that's all right. Had a cool vibe up. Yeah, yeah, definitely a cool vibe. It's, um, what I was going to say is some of the vocals, like apart from that chorus, like some of his heavier vocals, I got like a bit of a let live kind of glass jaw oh, vibe yeah. from it, which is cool. Like they recently collaborated with glass jaw. So obviously it's like an influence on them. Must be. But yeah, it was cool, man. I haven't really like, that's an, a new layer to his voice. Like yeah. most of his heavy screaming stuff tends to be a bit more like, I guess like the old bring me stuff. So yeah. Trying something different. That chorus is cool. It's very Bring the Horizon. Like yeah. it's definitely not breaking any new ground. But no. as far as the whole track goes, I enjoyed that man. I thought that was cool. What I really liked about it was that there is some like real, real throwback elements to like their first album. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there was like that like like the I don't know, the hectic guitar at one point. Yeah. Yeah, the um, shreddy guitar and that stuff. That sounded like <laughs> something off like Candy yeah. Blessings. Yeah, they haven't done that in ages. So that's, that this cool is probably, hear. I think like, to me, this has a lot of like suicide season kind of vibes. Oh yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That's kind of like the a breakdown and stuff yeah, as well. Like, yeah, like obviously not the chorus. No. And, like a lot of the melody, but yeah. a lot of like the rawness to it just gives me that like early bring me vibe, um, yeah. which is cool to see him going. And it makes sense. Like they've just... You know, shed a member that's like you know huge contributor to their mm -hmm. uh, electronic elements. So like, I I think it's a cool uh, way to kind of approach a situation like that. Yeah. Like our first song back as a, as, well, our first song as a new group. Yeah. We're bit gonna more do raw, a bit more heavy. Exactly. Yeah. We're not gonna just try and just keep the train running. Yeah. Let's be honest with ourselves and let's like focus on what we can do on our own. Yeah. Um, and you know we'll bring maybe they're gonna bring those elements back slowly as they maybe yeah maybe work do. out themselves they yeah. kind of figure out how they're going to replace jordan if they do all that sort of nonsense yeah it's no cool. i thought that was cool i probably would have liked to have heard the chorus be a little bit more different like the rest of the song was yep. but i guess they've got to please their fans so yep. yeah no i thought that was a cool track and i think like you said a pretty cool departure from what they've been doing with jordan so yep. yeah it's also interesting to think like the jordan things quite recent mm -hmm. i wonder how long this song has been in the works had could it be that this song had a lot of electronic elements that jordan had wrote yeah and they've removed them upon the removal of him from the band could be and i could be talking out my ass here but it does sound like this might have been a track that they just got in a studio That's and, and wrote to together fresh kind of like all right let's yeah. do a track without him without his influence at all and Hence come up with it from scratch video. yeah yeah all right, cool. Well, that's new Bring Me the Horizon post Jordan departing. So yeah. it's a cool little vibe. So we'll see where they go from here, man. But yeah. always like to keep up with Bring Me. So we are looking forward to the next track. That 100%. was Kool-Aid and we'll see you next time. Peace. Laters.